I don't know. All right, I'll give you a yes, but I think it's going to be a battle, dude. So I've done some in-depth analysis on this myself, and, you know, Tyloo took out Cloud9 earlier in this qualifier. On Mirage, yes. And Cloud9 had two Asians playing, and obviously Tyloo have five Asians playing. Envy only have one. I think there's there's some math going into this. There's a scientific aspect that people haven't considered. We know the Asian gaming scene is really strong. So I th I th I'm gonna. That's that's how I think it'll break down. I think Tyler could definitely do this. Sound. Yeah. There we go. Um, just 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 an easy analysis for me, really. Fancy, gonna go for a bit of an early peek there, try and see if he could uh, maybe pick it up. Somebody will get a headshot on uh, NBK. That's a good start of the flashbang is in, that drops the bomb, and Captain Mo turning up with a kill, and somebody dropping Kenny S now. It's down to Happy, and he is gonna get dropped by Attacker. It's a flawless round coming out of Tyloo. Now, this is the argument that needs to be made, and I think this is what was key towards, towards um, Tyloo beating Mirage, or Cloud9 on Mirage yesterday is the fact that once Tyloo Ty are a team that heavily rely on preparation, on anti-stratting, on countering their opponents. Now, they had a lot of information to go off of when it came to Cloud9 because Cloud9 had played Mirage a few times already. And so they had that info to build off of and they hard countered Cloud9 and beat them up. Envious, they've already played Dust2 twice. Once versus G2, once versus Spirit. There's a lot of info there for Tyloo to glean, and Envy, their big crutch right now is the fact that they aren't changing up their game very much. They've been heavily criticized for it. They've definitely been told that by other players, that it's just like, you know, it's not hard to play against Envy, because they always do the same thing. They're easy to predict. I feel like that plays to Tyloo's strengths. Tyloo should be prepared for this match. Yes, they should, but at the same time, you unleash someone like Kenny on this map, and we all know what can happen, so... I That's mean, the question. Yeah. Will Happy let him play? Will Happy let him go loose and, t and do exactly what he wants, whatever he wants? I mean, you've you got to let him play. He, it's Kenny after all, and it's us too. I, I'd, be, I'd be very upset if we don't get to see some of that. We already see Captain Mo with the sniper rifle, but it is a scout, and we're also seeing Envy rush the middle. This could actually be a dangerous push right now. Tyloo have to be very careful. They need to stop this. I mean, Smoke is going to do a bit, but look at this. Happy with the kill on Didi. That means Attacker is alone on the bomb side. He needs to get at least one, and preferably two, and it's just not happening. Now it's a two on three. Somebody in Fancy quite far away. In fact, somebody is miles, or he's only now rotating in. Yeah, there's no point in actually going for this retake at this point because you have three guys alive still for Envy. Two of them have got rifles. Kenny has got that HE. And he's just waiting to chuck it out. Goes to window. Wrong guess, but still. You have a kit on somebody, but you have no grenades to make this take easier. So you're, you're just counting on getting shots, and that's not going to happen. NBK obliterates Fancy as he tries to make his way through the door, and that's it. Lights out for Tyloo. A second round win for Envious, and there definitely was a time when Envy, they were legendary for this that they were always so capable of just relying on aim to carry them back through in a second round by, and once again, it happens. Yeah, but this wasn't even relying on aim. This was this was really just a huge gap of the defense in middle for Tyloo that allowed three men, not not just to get out middle, but to run into the B bomb side before, mm -hmm. they, before anyone even reached them. It was in the window. Uh, the only redeeming quality of for Tyloo was the fact that they had a smoke to smoke off the door, but they still couldn't really do it, so... Yeah, the setup, I mean, the... Who was it that was holding on the site itself? Because that's the issue. The uh, man who was holding on the site itself, once that smoke D goes D down... And, DD and Attacker were all there. So Attacker was left alive and DD went down first, I think. Yeah, that's... Yeah, exactly. DD, he, he left himself open to Happy, basically, flanking. And that's one thing from watching Envious play Dust2. You have to know that Happy's going to be upper halls. He goes upper halls every round. And he literally lurks out onto B site every round, almost. I mean, you have to be prepared for Happy to be up there. So you're right. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe Tyloo, you know, making a, a couple of errors here that will end up costing them. Yeah, I would say definitely so. Um, Got to keep an eye on that mid control, especially because and there's no reason not to be mid in the second round because if they come long instead, you're fine with that. Let them go long with the tech nines. That's absolutely no problem. Now they're going to try and see if they can make their way up catwalk and all that aggression up there forces Didi into the middle to try and take it. Look and Happy's there. Ready and waiting. Nice shot from Fancy and a follow up with the Deagle. We get more. Captain Mo, he's standing right on that fire and Apex will take him down eventually. And Happy, going to get the kill on attacker. That should seal the round here, even with that kill for somebody. Should still be a winnable uh, situation here for Envy. Oh, changing it up though. He's got that M4. They're expecting him catwalk, and now he might have an angle. Smoke goes down, but it's not a perfect one, and so he does actually have a way to look to the site, but Sixer is ready for this, and it's going to be so difficult to predict that sort of shot. It's not going to happen. Apex actually gets the kill in the end, and so Envy will survive. Good use of Molotovs there from Envy as well onto Captain Mo. And yeah, the only reason this was even close at all is because of these two insane headshots from Fancy. That's some sick aim. Yeah, I mean, 
there is a world in which Captain Mo is in position in time to follow up behind it, you know, where he can get a kill. <laughs> All, right. All right, Alchemist. All right. I like it's, it. It's uh, our producer who's uh, obviously got something to work with up there. That's uh, it's not too bad. People don't know this, but that's what Sir Scoots has at home, just for fun. NBK looking to maybe get a kill on somebody. It's going to be six of stealing it away. But um, this is around where they don't have any armor. So Envy, in spite of losing the pistol, are making up for it in style. They're losing more people to fancy in this round, and he's looking for another deal kill. That Molotov going to make his life miserable, but he's still going to be able to do it. Looking for a third one in here. He's doing so much damage. Just imagine if you could have got the third kill. That could have actually won the round. That would have been insane. It's still possible, though. They're kind of cut in half here. The bomb does manage to make its way up onto the site, but he's under pressure. Caught with a nade in his hand. He gets the angle right, though. Sixer with the dunk. Captain Mo is going to find a whole bunch of shrapnel, and Sixer, Sixer rather, will end up finishing the round with three kills. 3-1 three, lead now for Envy. Again, an expensive round for them, but they have the money for the full buy. And while Tyler are going to have to try and put something together here, Fancy has got money for an off glass cannon, but it's going to be rifles across the board for Ty Lu and basically everything else that they can get to go behind it here. That's obviously really frustrating here for Ty Lu. A couple of rounds here where Fancy does so much work and they maybe could bring it back, but it just doesn't quite work out that way now. They're going to go for the middle. They, they use a flash in there instead of a smoke or an HE, which people normally do. Risky indeed, and attacker does get tagged down to 52, so... Got to be careful with that one. And look at Envy. They're really quick up catwalk here. Yep, yeah, this has been the key here for Envy so far. Very quick plays. Not showing any respect whatsoever. That has definitely cost them in the last two rounds. But Envious are looking to set up on catwalk once again. NBK ready to take point. He can go jumping down into CT or just look for the fight. Look at that. The flash to open it doesn't actually see anybody, though. So that's going to be a little frustrating for him. He wanted to get a little bit more info than that. But it does at least force out a smoke, and because they only have one left on DD, who's on the other side of the map, once the smoke is gone, Envy will pretty quickly realize that if they wanted to go catwalk, they're not going to run into any opposition. They also have Happy Cover in the back line. Yeah, this is uh, used to be a very common way of playing Dust 2 on the T side. People have sort of gone away from it a bit. And somebody in Captain Mo, they're actually going to go for it. Somebody has a flashbang. If he sets up the flashbang for somebody to peek here, that could be very, very interesting. But they're just going to go right into it, not using any of those grenades. And Happy will chew them up. And they should out. save this. Tyler, just save the last three rifles. Yeah, this is, well, Fancy. Fancy certainly stepping up. He's having an impact in these rounds. And Didi's going to catch Happy looking the wrong way. Two on three retake scenario now, but no grenades to work with here for Tyloo. No kits either, and so they should just really back off. Attacker hasn't even moved from the B site. He's just hanging out, waiting to see. But you don't have to worry. Happy is dead. Nobody's going to come out of Upper Dark now. It's fine. They are running finally. I really think that was a misstep. If you do the double push like that, and you have a flashbang with you, there's not really any reason not to pop it out there. Mm -hmm. Uh, at worst, at the very worst, what you're doing is you're alerting someone in the middle that you're pushing there. But if you're doing the double push anyway, you I mean, you should just be looking for a quick kill and then fall back anyway. Pushing two into middle is is even, I think, too much. So I think that was a that was a bit of a misplay on Tyler's side. Yeah, and nerves and already calling for the tactical timeout right now. So Carson wants to have a say. And I can, I you know, if you're making basic mistakes or if you aren't quite figuring it out, sure, go for that. Just slow things down. You've got four 30-second timeouts. Might as well use one now so that the coach can actually get involved. I mean, similar to Junta in the styles of how he coaches, he's a very involved coach with the tactics. I mean, Tyloo has severely struggled, actually, since he hasn't been able to get involved, as involved as in the past. He can't talk to the team. He can't communicate. He can't point things out immediately. And so Tyloo have had to make quite a few adjustments around that. Still, good use of the timeout here before things get out of control. It's still very, it's still early days for Tyloo. Only 4-1 lead here for Envious. And this is a critical game as well, just because of the, the one and two situation here. If you lose this game, you're out. No more playing. You're not going to make it to the major tournament. And I, even if you win, right, you have to continue to fight. You're going to be playing one of those deciding matches at the end of the day. And NBK and Happy, they just watched JW and Flusha keep their streak alive. Ten majors in a row for JW and Flusha. NBK and Happy would be those players as well. So there's, there is the additional pressure here for Envious. They need to keep their hopes alive. They need to tie it up 2-2 and go to the matches later on in the day. NBK comfortable to take this fight. And he's got a backup as well. He's going to get all three kills there. Sixer would have been there to help out, which is perfectly fine. And DD and Attacker, those two saved rifles. They're going to get one kill in the middle. And DD picking up one on Sixer. 
at least making it interesting. He needs this shot and he almost gets it on Kenny down to 12 health. Well, the French sniper will pick it up and that will leave attacker. You gotta give it to Fancy though. Still doing pressure, DD, with the one kill, but attacker, the only reason he's even in this position right now is because he's thinking we're gonna buy in the next round. If I can get another kill here, at least force Envious to spend some more money, but it doesn't work out for him whatsoever. And NBK gives us a perfect demonstration on spray control. Look at this. Even before it's fully reset, he's transferring onto the third guy. Yeah. That's some sick muscle memory right there. Speaking of Envy and money, I think Six has started this round with almost 10,000, and NBK still has almost 10,000 in the bank. So they, they've got a fairly good bank going into this seventh round. Tyloo. Now picking up the AWP on captain mode, that's what I was waiting for, and it's been quite a while just because of how weird this map has been already. Attacker going to be going down to 34 health, not the best way to get started. No, Kenny is so consistent at hitting those gap shots right now. And if Kenny is on point, like you pointed out, I mean, I just want to see the return of the god tier Kenny. See, because of because of how stupid Red it is, when he shoot, shoots into the wall and Happy looks around, I'm sort of expecting it to say "send nudes" on the wall. <laughs> what? It didn't work this time. Have you not seen that meme? It's so the incredibly meme is dumb. Everywhere now, yeah. It's so stupid, but <laughs> it's what it's done to my mind, Semla. Is this the plan here? Are they going to finally change it up and go back to B? Because that is a possibility. They went B in the second round, Envious, and that was when they won the force by after Tyler winning the pistol. That's what started all of this train. But they do have the setup. Kenny looking to CT. There's the flash, though. And Apex going to back off as well. And since they have cleared up Catwalk already, they can actually just rotate over here very quickly and leave Happy to do what Happy does, which is lurk in upper halls, lurk around mid, hope to catch out a rotator. Oh, this is Captain Moe's turn to shine. Fancy will pick up Apex, who was on a suicide jump into CT spawn, but this is still on Captain Moe. There's the flashbang coming in. And what a shot from Happy. Oh, sorry, from MBK to open it up. They're going to take him down right away. Fancy looking for the headshots and down in pit. Somebody maybe trying to see if he can put some damage here, but the ball will be going down. It is a four on four, and that's a nice shot from Kenny. Dropping somebody now. Attacker is still over on B. This, re this sort of rotate in is so slow coming out of the Chinese side. In the middle, Happy going to be creeping his way in, looking for the kill, and he will get the last one, but it's really MBK with a triple. Very fine job from him. He's also at seven kills overall. 6-1 here, and... I don't know. It's it is a decent setup, but as soon as Captain Mo goes down, it it does sort of fall apart. This is why you see, like, if you're playing Car as an opper, Captain Mo's he he knows he doesn't move because he knows he's dead. He has no way out. He's standing on the cars. He can't fall back towards long where somebody is playing to back him up. He has to stand his ground and try and hit a shot. And so that's why it was good, good utility there. In fact, they ran back to set up the perfect flash for that angle, Envious, just to take down Captain Mo in case he was holding there with the op. And so. They're just a little bit too predictable here, Tyler. They're getting bodied, Happy. And I gotta give it to Happy as well. Just the fact that he's repeatedly in mid or towards B, that's delaying the rotations so much from Tyler because they're constantly worried, where is Happy? When is he going to get in here? When are we gonna actually run into this guy? Now the hunt is on. The bomb has barely gone down and yet they're already out looking for this one man. He's just got a deagle, leave him alone. Gonna be a headshot for him. Looking for Kenny and that will be the end of it. You can tell that Hen Envy are... S I mean, they came into this match with confidence. That was evident from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And now, I mean, these first eight rounds haven't really done anything to detract from that. They have won seven rounds in a row. What's fun is that NBK right now, they're using a trick to get warmed up. I don't know if you guys could hear that, obviously, but they were shouting during the warm-up, right? You're supposed to take your ca your, your earbuds off and shout the, the shouts that your teammate on the other side of the table can actually hear what you're trying to communicate, right? The whole point of that is just to warm up, to get your blood flowing, the adrenaline going, right? And he says that's an old trick that he learned from an old in-game leader in Source, and that they're just like, well, we need to get pumped. We, we can't go into these games quiet. And so they're trying to make use of every little bit of experience, basically, that they've got right now to, to carry themselves through here and tie things up 2-2 for themselves. Yeah, I love that. That's, I mean, uh, that's a, it may sound silly, but it actually, that's, that can makes perfect sense to me. It's, it's just a question of taking sort of, you know, things into your own hands and not just relying on, oh, I hope we have a good start to this game, just saying, mm -hmm. no, but let's do everything we can to make sure we're absolutely prepared for this one. Somebody really close to that long position. Captain Mo, this time he's not on car, he's playing down on long and with Fancy in front of him. This is a fine setup, but the problem really starts to occur if somebody goes down, then Mo has to readjust and that spray just nowhere near accurate enough. Now Mo has to go back and 
Down to 55 seconds here. He's going to re-smoke long. I don't think they'll respect it for much longer because as soon as they start making noise on Catwalk, they know that he's going to have to split his attention anyway here. He's down to 45 seconds. And actually, they bring the bomb back here. Envy, they're running the clock kind of low now. This is getting a little nervous here. Look at how many grenades they still have Envy as well. 35 seconds left. And now the setup comes here for the cat play, it looks like. Kenny is going to be able to rotate in fairly quickly. Four players about to go straight up catwalk. And Mo and Fancy, they're the ones who are going to be the ones. They're going to have to hold the line, but they have no nades to support. Molotov is going to force Fancy onto the ramp, and Captain Mo worried about long. Fancy hits another headshot. But still, it's a four on four situation with 20 seconds left. Envious have cat control so they can go for the plant. Mo, he's going to be going down. Fancy to follow up. They've actually dropped the bomb. 10 seconds. There's another headshot. Fancy picking up three. Goes for a fourth one. Can't quite find it. Eight seconds left in a one-on-one. -on -one. And oh, no! Six are going to be able to pull them out of that one for an eighth round of win here. Envy just won't stop. That looked like Fancy had really done it for Tai Lu, but... He had. He's going to be pulled back anyway. Right? He had. Look at this. It's He takes down NBK, who had the bomb and who's looking long. With 13 seconds left, that's unbelievable. The fact that DD, however, is not able to make it out of Sixers' way, that's the tough thing. You're going left and you're going right. He picked wrong, and the second timeout is going to get used here by Tai Lu. Karsa obviously wanting to try and calm his players down here and communicate with them. Captain Mo is flipping out right now. We're not seeing the level from Captain Mo actually at all. He's sitting at two kills, and he's playing one of the key roles on CT side with that off. Either you focus on long or you focus on cat, but you need to be picking up a kill to help Fancy out when they're pushing up Catwalk. He's had zero impact so far. This has just been the Fancy show. Ten kills for Fancy right now. Yeah, no, you're right. And it's surprising because when they've been struggling in other games, it's usually been Captain Mo who's been there to, to pull them back out, getting even just, you know, a couple of rounds with great deagle shots and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It, he's been able to do some, some crazy stuff. He had that ace on train that came out of nowhere, right? Yeah. But um, this time it's a slow start for him. And when you're about to exit the major qualifier, you don't really have time for slow starts. Attacker will find a kill on MBK. We've got shut down early. And MB oh, Apex also got tagged in the face, I think. So Six are doing a pretty good job getting them back into the round, though. And yeah, now Captain Mo's got an op with Kevlar. Yeah, but Happy, he's sneaking through since he spawned. Oh, the timing. He got his hands on it, but couldn't keep it alive. Somebody sneaking up with the deal, but they're so well prepared for this. They were already checking out Catwalk. Now they know he's there. Good shot down. Fancy also getting a headshot on Happy. And Sixer nearly with the timing. One on two for him. He's got a minute to work with right now. And a smoke as well to block off the run. So he knows that somebody's down in uh, CT right now. It's just a matter of confirming if he can manage to rotate up quickly enough, but that's not going to happen. And so Sixer can make that run across right now and get that bomb planted. Could set it up. Somebody not even going to be able to spot it. Nobody's spotting the fact that he gets up to A. Yeah. That will buy him some time. Fancy also has some body armor here. Somebody actually going to almost be shot in the back. Sixer really wants to make this a 1v2. Is he going to drop down and get the kill? That's a big risk, but he goes for it. And now it's a really smart play. Now he knows he's in a one-on-one -on -one fancy versus Sixer, who I think has been getting a lot of criticism on this team, but right now he's at 10 kills. He's near the top of the scoreboard mm -hmm. and has even been bailing them out a couple of times already in this half. I mean, it's worthwhile criticism. He's the one, when they're playing in the Asian Cups, he's the one who's dominating everybody. Fancy kind of drops off when he faces European opposition. So for him to actually just be leading the way right now for Tyloo, that's a big deal. The fact that both of them have got rifles now, it's going to come down to who has the shot in Sixer. He's got the angle, but Fancy's going to be sneaking up on him, and Fancy will find the kill. Enough time for the defuse as well. 12 kills for him now, as well as a 1v1. So Tyloo still in this fight, but just barely. Very well done. That's going to give them the second round. Finally, Tyloo here on the CT side. You have to hope for their point of view that this is when the they start to spark some sort of comeback. And actually, Envy already with the timeout? They have, I mean, almost all of them had 10,000 at the beginning of this round. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Having a bit of a discussion, perhaps? Or maybe Apex just needed to get comfortable? I mean, I, yeah, Envy aren't exactly the team that takes the timeouts. <laughs> so, uh, in general, they kind of just, like, put their heads down and be stubborn. But MBK and Apex communicating right now. I like to see this because sometimes you just see them kind of shut down and they don't really talk much. But when things are going well, now we have to see. Ah. Ah, okay, okay. Apex is the one calling the shots right now. He's setting up a play. What is the play? Can we get a live translation, similar? I like it. Uh, 
what is it? He's, he says you guys are going to set up the Molotov behind the boxes and I'll, I'll take care of the smoke. So could be another A take up catwalk or something along those lines. Well, let's look out for that one. I love it. Attacker and DD over at B. They haven't uh, tried too much aggression into upper dark. Happy still hanging around on that side. Very common setup here for Tyloo. No real tricks being pulled out. They're not going for any, you know, fast boost into catwalk. Try and see if they can get someone in there. The double boost to look into lower dark. Like all of these things are out, but they do have the double up setup. So maybe just on the strength of the snipers, they can make this work. I am still waiting for Captain Mo, and I feel like I've been waiting for a long time already. It's kind of now or never. If they lose this round, they're going to get simply trucked in this first half. And Kenny sneaking out into the middle, already scoped up, so they can't hear if he rescopes here. And the Molotov goes into the box behind it. There's the play we're talking about. He's forced out, and Kenny gets the shot. Simply well orchestrated coming out of Envy. What a call from Apex as well, every step of the way. Not going to be able to get the entry kill, however. Big spray there from Attacker to put him uh, down, but still, there's a chance here for Envy to make their way in. Didi gets, gets the kill on Sixer, and Didi whips around, takes down Kenny. Didi with the triple! No, the quad at the end of it! Well, that's a bit of a slap in the face. Everything went nice at the beginning of this round, and then when it came to the execution, Envy just got trucked. All right, then. Well, the first part of the plan certainly worked out for Envy, but then just didn't really uh, get the rest of it in. I know why Apex is saying that he's going to put that smoke down because he's one of the hardest working guys, basically, who's always just tr watching demos, watching all the matches, practicing smokes. So he says, I'll take care of the smoke because I know I'm going to get it. <laughs> I, I know I'm going to put it in there. So still just a bump in the road here for Envy, though. They still lead eight to three. Or did he? Does he want to fight Kenny in the middle? He's looked for a minute like he did. Eight three, all right. Tai Lu, they can still bring it back in this game. That's the interesting point here. If they win this one and the next one and make it to 8-5, there's a really good chance they will make it all the way to, you know, 6 or 7 even. Um, because then Envy will finally be out of money. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's not impossible, but these next two rounds are going to be really critical for the CT side. And now again, Catwalk and Long. This is the same setup that we've seen earlier. Six, uh, except this time it's Sixer and not Happy who's covering the flank, but um, minor... Minor detail. Very interesting. It's not because of gear either. They all have full nades right now, Envy. So interesting to see that Happy is a part of the hit squad right now. Apex setting up the smoke. Fancy, he's waiting for the timing. He's going to get that incendiary down. The flash behind him as well. He's getting roasted, though. He's got to be careful, and he's just barely going to make it back to Ghost. But it's a trade in mid in the meantime, and this is a wrap to be from Envy. They're throwing him for a loop. They've done that catwalk push so many times. Tyler Winston, he thought that was going to be it. Attacker will get the one kill. He has to get a lot more than that. He's finding Apex at the moment. He's going to find it. Attacker doing a great job holding on to this. Now the bomb is dropped in the middle, though. It will be Sixer picking up the one kill, and that leaves Sixer alone here. One on two. Happy went down, and he's going to try and push it in. Spray not quite connecting. 25 seconds. If Sixer wants to clutch this, it's going to be pure run and gun. He can't spend too much time checking any corners. Attacker is holding by the car, and Captain Moe is making his way up. That's good movement for Moe right now. Otherwise, he would leave his friend alone. Sixer, 12 seconds left. He goes for the spray through the wall a little bit, but he can't really check all the angles. And Attacker will pick up a third kill. Triple for him. And Tai Lu making it to four rounds here. Really, really big round coming out. A bit of a disconnect, so we're just going to get that guy back on the server. But the money for Envy. This is the last time they can buy. If they lose this round then they will be finally ecoing. And hold on. Okay, so it's not a tactical, it's a technical timeout here thrown in. So ta so Envy, it's both. Oh, it's both. Okay. So they're using, I mean, I guess that, that makes sense because otherwise they can't talk during the technical timeout, right? So exactly. They're just making sure they can out. This is the stuff of nightmares. A Elephant-sized chicken. That is, it is actually the meme, right? Would you rather fight like a hundred chicken-sized horses or a gigantic horse? I don't know. And like, I right? wouldn't. I wouldn't want to fight that. Chickens are stupid. Completely. It, even if it doesn't want to kill you, maybe it'll just peck you with like a giant beak, impale you. It crush you underfoot. Yeah, I'm not. I I'm not into that. It might think that it's like one of your one of its eggs. You know, it's just gonna sit on you basically, crush you flat. <laughs> Horrible. What a way to go. Well, the 13th round is about to commence. 10 seconds on the countdown here, and Tyler have won three in a row. And I, I have to reiterate again, even with the round loss bonus, this is enemy using their whole bank. So if they don't win this round, 
they are going to be ecoing, and suddenly all that momentum from winning eight rounds in a row, it could be gone. And look at Fancy, he's actually going to push in. He wants to take this away from Envy. He's going to find the spray, but no, they just turned the corner. Happy was actually looking the wrong way. Fancy gets denied. I, I actually really like that play, but now that it's failed, Tyler were in a tough position. Not exactly, they had a chance, and now it's looking grim just because they're down a man and Envy have done fantastically well when in this situation, unless Didi can come up with something big and it's not going to happen, Apex with the flash forces him into the open and finds that kill easily. Two kills for Apex so far in this round and it's spinning out of control here for Tyloo. Minute 13 left on the clock and Envy could even go for the catwalk play if they want. Captain Mo just trying to go for the shoulder peaks right now. Not sure if anybody's there waiting for him. And I don't know if Attacker was throwing any grenades into upper dark, but... It feels like if he could have made some noise from inside the B-bomb side, then that could have been a slightly more successful push from Fancy in the beginning. This is a winnable round only if sudden someone like Mo steps it up and just goes completely crazy with the AWP. He's going to get maybe a chance there making their way around the corner. He gets a bit of a damage into Apex or, or maybe Happy, but not quite enough to get the kill. He's going to go for it one more time, missing the shot. That has to be a short kill again. Not quite going to hit it. Where is Captain Mo? He needs to make this work. The Molotov's just going to make sure they plant on the other side of the boxes, really. And there's Happy <laughs> lurking in the back line and taking down Attacker. Oh, man. Somebody last one left. A one Sick versus shot. four. Sick shot from MBK. Got to give him that. Just destroys Captain Mo. But you're right. It is the setup. Everything has worked according to plan here for Envious in this round. And really, I mean, yeah, it's off of the back. Sometimes you have to take the big risks. Sometimes you have to go for the plays. Okay, then. Kenny <laughs> using all the bullets and then getting taken out. Somebody going to fall anyway to Happy. And that will be just at the edge of ecoing. Envy bring it back. Very, very important. Tyloo have managed to build some kind of bank, but only really two of them can buy. The rest are going to be in an awkward position. Mm -hmm. So they feel like we've lost too many rounds. We have to get the last two and make it a 9-6 finish. They're going to force up. And that's, I don't know. It's a stretch, but again, risk after risk, they really need to just swing for the fences at this point if they want to have a chance against Envy. Envy are taking off. Envy destroyed Spirit yesterday, 16-2 on this map. Tyloo, I mean, they're already going to do better than that with four rounds, but <laughs> they're looking for a different result here. Both of these teams are on the edge of elimination. Whoever loses this match goes home. No major. I feel like at this point, oh, they're going to go for the boost into Lower Dark. We talked about it earlier, and there it is. Captain Mo finally hitting a shot and taking down Apex. They need something to wake him up. Just anything at this point. It is getting desperate, isn't it? Get him an energy drink. Get him a timeout. Whatever it takes. Kenny waiting out long, and he's going to get that push on somebody. But the refrag comes in on Kenny as well. Captain Mo winning that fight. It's a little bit, but it definitely works. Happy and NBK left. Two versus four. This is a must win round. Actually, it's going to be two versus three here. MBK getting a free kill on Attacker, and the bomb is actually dropped down there with Fancy and Captain Mo. When Didi's coming in from behind. Exactly. He's going to box them in. So there's nowhere for Happy to go, essentially, at this point. And Happy worried about this as well. Seems to think that the flank is going to come through. I mean, those lurker senses tingling, basically. But NBK is still alive and rotating around, trying to give some kind of support here to his in-game leader. We'll see if it actually works, and well, Happy doesn't need it. DD decides to walk in there. And instead now, it's a bit it's still awkward though. 30 seconds left, and you have to find a way to pick up this bomb. Yeah, I think the time that's left is the real problem. NBK trying to make an opening for Happy, who's gonna be coming in from the other side. And Happy actually has a Molotov, so he's gonna push that one out. Probably a little bit of a diversion. MBK pushing through. He gets the headshot. Oh no, Tyloo is going to be going down. MBK with the triple kill. And Envy just robbery here. Stealing the round away from Tyloo after they'd put so much effort into it. It was almost a, it was a repeat of what we saw in the pistol. Tyloo hit all their shots. Envy tried to take long quick. Didn't work out for them at all. And here was the same thing, except that NBK, he's so good in these sorts of tense situations. One of the smartest players. You can always count on him in these sorts of situations to play out the, to play it out correctly. But definitely also some big mistakes being brought up by Tyloo there. I mean, DD, when they had NBK boxed in like that, or sorry, Happy boxed in, should have uh, been able to keep him there. Now they're going to be pushing into the B-bomb site. Happy going to follow it up there. Now two versus, well, one versus four. 
Fancy with the UMP outside. He's gonna try and push in and catch Happy. Almost does it, but somehow he stays alive. And now, gonna bring around the Rosie. Fancy gonna try and continue, but he goes down to Kenny. That ends 11-4 in favor of Envy. A fantastic start here to the match that will eliminate one of these two teams. Right now, it's looking like it could be Tyloo. It's Happy at 17, it's NBK at 15. And on the other team, Fancy had 14 kills in spite, look at this, I mean, in spite of them being so far behind, Fancy's really done everything that he could. He had a very strong beginning to the half with the Deagles when they were constantly, I mean, he had multiple rounds where he was picking up kills with Deagles, right? And so, but they were never able to capitalize on it, Tyler. That's the, that's the issue. It's Fancy who's fighting his heart out right now, but the rest of his team, they can't seem to figure out what'll get them comfortable. And that's also a problem for the coach behind right now. So we're going to have a head-to-head -head here between Fancy and Happy. And you can see, I mean, well, Happy is just, he thrives in these sorts of situations where he knows yeah, but you know, we have the firepower. But the fact that the ADR for Fancy is actually higher in spite of being a couple of kills behind. That's what I mean, though. They're counting on him so much right now. I think, I, I think some of this has to come down to Carso as well, though. Like, he needs to figure out a way to get some of his teammate or some of his team actually hitting shots. Yeah, I mean... I think right now, the the sadly, the, the the player that's gone missing here is still Captain Mo, and they haven't been able to bring it. He's had the opportunity on catwalk a couple of times. He hasn't been able to really make it work. How do you bring a player back to live at that point? You know, just go and twist his nipples and just pick him up. Wow. Get, get him okay, out of then. the slump. <laughs> I'm saying whatever it takes, Samler. Whatever it takes. <laughs> the thing is, is that Envy aren't mouse sports. Like, it's envious or definitely Are you struggling. saying Mouseports would do that? Do you have <laughs> inside information that I don't know about? No, I'm say, what I'm saying is that, you know, Captain Mo went ham against Mouseports, had that flashy ace All with right. the Deagle op and everything like that, right? But, I mean, Envy are a tier above, and we're just not seeing that confidence coming in, that same kind of confidence coming in here from Tyler. Well, this is it. <laughs> I mean, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, don't buy an R8, especially on the pistol round, because you can't, but 11-4. Um, oh, oh, we have a drop? Yeah, we're going to have a drop. Yeah, we're going to have a restart here. Time for more transitions, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Keep Daily happy. Kenny's waving his arms around. Yeah, so they're obviously going to be restarting the round here. I'm, I mean, the, the eternal problem when you're playing T-side pistol on a map like Dust2 is trying to get close enough to the USP to, to sort of nullify the, the, the advantage that it has. Because if you keep fighting long range, you go long or you try and take a fight down middle, those USPs are definitely going to chew you up. So they have the Tech-9 and armor, and they have two smokes. So they, those smokes can definitely block out the USP for a while. Just a, just a little concern. Are we seeing the same kind of strategy coming out here? Because um, Tyler looked like they were taking that round seriously. Like nobody had told them that this was going to be a restart scenario. I don't know. They were spreading around all over the place. Whatever. Not important. We're going to get the replay here. 11 4. Envious on the CT side now. Tyloo on the T side. And while it's looking like straight YOLO B, that would be fun. But oh, it's not going to happen. Look at Envy. They're pushing down into lower duck with three people. I mean, Apex is there, but six are unhappy right behind. And they're going to look for Sixer first. Once they see him, are they going to check the corner? That's the big question. Sixer, bit of damage output already. Apex waiting for it. If they push into B now, it's only NBK that's back there. Man, this is a tense round. They're right around the corner here. And they don't even realize it just yet. They're going to go for the repeat, and now they're going to come charging through. Apex still waiting for it. There's the headshot. Apex opening up. He goes for more. Apex and Six are helping out. That's a triple for Apex, leaving Didi alone. What a trap being set up. And there's a quad kill picking up the Tech Nines. What a godlike play for Apex. This is exactly how the setup is supposed to work. And it's excellent that his teammates actually play it to perfection as well. Happy backing them up. Six are drawing all the attention to himself. Tyloo fully focused. It doesn't get much easier than that for Apex. And then with the Tech 9, obviously, he ends in style. <laughs> Drops DD out of the sky. But I mean, T side, Envious, they lost the pistol, but then they immediately won in the second round. And it really has just been the Envious show since then. Now they get the perfect start to the second half. And it's up to Tyloo to dig deep and find something here. We do have to remind you, Envy and Tyloo both are fighting to stay in the qualifier. You lose now, you're eliminated. So you can maybe understand why Envy are playing this aggressive and, and playing with this much energy. They don't want to be locked out of that major. Now creeping in, fancy with the Deagle. Very interesting. Kenny sees him and oh, ho, 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 peaks before the smoke blooms. How does Our that work, Semler? Envy is going to get 
a taste of their own medicine. Apex under fire. He has to back off. Down to 50 HP already. DD waiting for the flank to come through. Not quite going to happen, but they get the bomb plant. They keep everybody alive. Now they have an MP7 on Fancy. I'd almost want him to stay on the Deagle instead, to be frank. If we see sort of a mirror of the first half, that would be Sick. interesting, wouldn't it? Attackers here close range with the... the 5-7, oh, sorry, with the Tech-9, could be very powerful indeed. The flashbangs are coming in. Mo picks up a kill. There's Attacker. Gets one, still a 2-1-2. Two -on -two. No kit currently picked up on anybody. Apex, he's going to get the kill and pick up a kit. That's really important now. All on Fancy. Down to 41 health. He gets the kill on Happy. He's turning around 20 bullets left. He goes for the spray and he's going to get it. Fancy saving his team once again. A triple kill here and 17 kills on him. He's doing everything he can to keep his team alive right now. And they do get the mirror. The reverse here. Well done. Oh, neither of these teams able to handle the anti-eco. What is this? And Captain, I mean, Captain Mo ends up getting the M4, but once again, fancy. Just the backpack, the size of the backpack that he needs to fit his entire team in, and then to carry it? Okay, then. This guy's a monster. And I aggro along now as well. Multiple flashes, fancy taking point. But now he's in position to check out Pit in case anybody had actually made it across. Envious instead. They did have three players over here on A, but they're changing up the point of contact. Happy going to take point towards Catwalk. So some quick thinking here from Envy, adjusting to what they've seen from Tyloo. Yeah, and they, I mean, they did buy a little bit into this round, Envy, but they don't have that much to lose. Their round lead is so big that they can, they could be, I still think, fairly flexible in these rounds and just try whatever feels good. There's not that much riding on them winning or losing this round. No. We're talking about them being able to pick up four rounds on the on the CT side. Dead. Surely that's possible, Semla. They're definitely the team that can grind. I mean, this should not be a situation where Envy can let it slip out of their fingers. And it's a question. It's a question also. I mean, with the experience that Envy have on this roster, I, these are major championship winners. You don't lose to Tyloo. It, all the pressure should be on Tyloo, who are lacking that kind of experience in these kind of crunch situations where your tournament life is on the line. I mean, Envy thrive in these sorts of situations. When they went on to win that major, they were the only team that lost the first map, and then were still able to come back and win the next two. <laughs> through, the, through the entire bracket, it was nuts. Kenny up here with the Deagle. The rotation is happening. There's a lot of Envy members here. Captain Moore will pick up a kill, though, and... And he's still looking for that elusive Deagle but shot, but not quite working out. MBK will do a good job taking down DD in the middle, but I'm not sure that makes a difference any longer. Captain Mo has picked up three kills. I realize he's just playing against pistols and armor, but again, whatever it takes to make sure that your player, your star, one of your star players gets into the game. Yeah, it starts getting fired up, that's for sure. And he's gonna be he's gonna be holding in pit. This is fine. It's a question of whether somebody's gonna make the, be able to make that jump across. Somebody's gonna be the one kind of hanging around. But they know that MBK is nowhere near the site, so it should be fine. We're going to play it out where MBK gets to hold on to a Galil, unless he runs into Fancy. That might be a problem, man. Fancy has been hitting some crazy shots so far this game. I could definitely see a world in which he bangs MBK's head off right here with that AK. Yeah, no head armor on MBK, so, you know, one shot might be it. There's long range. He actually had an AK, so it would have been one shot anyway. There you go. MBK going down, and it will be 12-6. Still no reason to panic if you're Envy, but sadly you won't have anybody to buy in this round either. So Tyler was slowly but surely starting to creep their way back in. And again, there was a world in which the first half could have been 9-6. And then, you know, the scoreline right now would be much closer, wouldn't it? But uh, they just... Envy brought it through right when they were about to eco, and that's what really made a difference. Let's see if Tyler can continue this. I love the fact that Fancy has this uh, Mac 10 in this round. Yeah, make that money. Flash. I mean, they they already know they're communicating Envy that they, you know there's movement long. Obviously, with the flashes and the steps, Happy's already set up to get that flank. His teammates there. Attacker gonna hit the headshot on Kenny. However, Apex is still going for the peak at Didi. Thorough. I like it. Happy. He's just crossing his fingers, hoping that nobody checks cars. Not this time. Just a bulldozer, just tearing through Envy at that point. Tyloo up to seven rounds now. Fans, he couldn't find anything with the Mac 10, and he's well. Is he gonna keep it into this round? I surely hope not. Looks like they're going to swap it out. Captain Mo on the AWP 12. Seven, ladies and gentlemen. Again, both teams fighting not to be eliminated from the qualifier. This is their last chance to, to really make it. Of course, if you win this game, you're going to have to play again. But mm -hmm. Captain Mo in the middle. Oh, he gets a shot on six, so that's important. There we go. Starting to wake up, Captain Mo. 
And we're going to go into a default setup here for Tyloo. And this is where Tyloo, I mean, contrary to Envy, who really do favor the 4-1-3-2 kind of style of just, you know, we're going to just wrecking ball our way onto a site. Tyloo are a much more regimented team. And I expect to see more default sorts of setups from them where they take points, they, f they spread out across the map, they get map control, and then they know what they need to do next. They're definitely the kind of team that's put in the work where everything is going to be thought out and planned when it comes to their T-side takes. So much time left on the clock here. They're going to go and check catwalk. That's really important. If ever you want to do anything towards B and mid, you've got to have this catwalk area checked out. And they just did it. So with the bomb in upper dark, it's definitely looking like a B split of sorts. Fancy and Didi, though, need to fall back into position and actually get out there and help out. Otherwise, they're just going to try and walk in B. They're actually turning the corner now. This is very, very odd. If this first push fails, and Sixer and MBK, they, they don't have to worry about middle right now. All they can worry about is this push into upper. Finally, Fancy and DD are going to start making noises in the middle. That's really important. Now it's looking much better. Going to go for the fight here. They win it against Apex. Such a good start. A lot of trouble in the B-bomb side. MBK will pick up one kill. Turning around for the spray. He gets a double, but Sixer has also gone down. So it's a two on three. And the bomb will be planted. Happy is coming in from upper dark. Trying to see if he can make it, but he actually gets caught. Great information for DD. And now they know where Kenny is as well on Catwalk. Kenny nearly gets the shot. Blind, that would have been sick. He knows that somebody's at the back of the side, it seems. He's already got that angle on Captain Mo. But Tyler with three, all they have to do is hold their angles. Happy gonna find the long range shot on Captain Mo, and it's Didi holding him off long enough for Kenny to take the peek from window. It's all on attacker now, 1v2. No kits here for Envy, and he sees it coming. There's the pre-fire attacker with the clutch. Three kills for him, saves the op for Captain Mo, and an eighth round on the board for Tyloo. Wow, that round was close. Closer than it should have been. 2v3 like that in the B-bomb site, but still, this is a great clutch for uh, Attacker. Very important that he moves out of that corner. It's it, Because it, what, if he's in that corner, it's so much easier for Kenny to get the shot from window if he did come through there. 12-8 is the scoreline. Happy on 19 kills, but fancy at 18, tied with MBK, who is at the same. And a good shot again. Captain Mo. Slowly, slowly resurrecting himself in this game. Mm -hmm. He is still nowhere near 100%, but every little bit matters. It's the only way, right? If I mean, Fancy is the only is the guy who's been keeping them in this game at all. If he can just get some support from his teammates, if they can start taking up some of the slack, we're in for a real match here. Only four rounds separating them, and Tylu on the T side of Dust too. It is the favored side after all. Slight edge their way. But Envious on pistols in this round, and so we should see Tyloo closing that gap further. A full buy from them and a default setup as well. And so now as we approach the minute mark, we'll see exactly where they want to set up because it's going to be DD taking that bomb all the way back around over here towards Long, it looks like. They're all going to go into the middle. They have a couple of flashbangs as well, Envy, so they're probably going to pop one in and then try and go for a sort of a, a mass peek there to try and see if they could catch anyone which we can tell no one is. There was the flashbang going in, and they're not going to find anyone fancy. They will find working on the stairwell, and he picks up two big kills, making it hard on Envy. They did buy pistols and armor in this round, so it could have been a dangerous round. It still could be, but only if Apex goes ham in this bomb side. Now they lost MBK. It's probably too late still. Oh, my God. Look at the shots coming out of Apex. This is monstrous. Now we're down to 27 seconds. Somebody pushing up behind and he takes out Happy at least. Apex jumping down with the C-set. He gets the kill. 21 seconds. He has the bomb as well. And the AK goes for the spray. Apex, absolute madman. But he can't get the shot. Going to be denied from somebody. I mean, is there anything Apex can't do in this game? He almost won that round. Killing four people nearly. Single-handed. So good. Single-handed, no support from his teammates, just the CZ-75. And a perfect play on the angles as well. He was, he was completely styling on Captain Mo. <laughs> can, we, can we translate? Can you, can, you read, can you read his lips there? MDR. I mean, <laughs> it's... He knows how close they were. The flashes are excellent, but still Apex is going to find a shot on a Captain Mo. And he was out in the middle of nowhere as well. Captain Mo charging for pit. He doesn't make it. Now Fancy's got the angle, but Kenny is not interested in re-peaking. All he has to do is cover for Apex, who's made it to pit. Can they get out of this position? Fancy going to get smoked off. Attacker goes down and somebody next. Envy tired of losing rounds in the second half. And if they lose this 2v5, 
I don't know. They don't deserve to be in the major at that point, Samla. They got to win this. No, there's no way. Bomb is still in control for Tyloo, however. I mean, so they do have something here. Somebody is dead and envy. There we go. Kenny hits the headshot. Didi is down. And it's fancy all by his lonesome now. 1v5. Yeah, he's been good, but um, not this good. Happy going to be able to take him down. 13-9. Envy. Losing quite a few rounds in a row here. In fact, five in a row before they finally pick one up. And still, in spite of winning those five rounds, and that's also part of the story here, Tyloo still don't have that much money to work with. I mean, they can buy a case on three, so I'm kind of thinking that maybe they will, but um, they've gone for the tactical timeout. Third one of the ha of this match, rather, used by Tyloo. And you can see this is Carson just trying to cram as much information into his team as possible during these 30 seconds when he's allowed to speak. And I wonder what the weak, I mean, if they have identified a weakness, I wonder what it is. And actually, sort of a problem now is that we've suddenly gone into a double up setup for Envy. Oh, I miss this. From the land house. So. Yeah, this is wonderful. I miss this kind of land where you're, you know, just, you know, you don't shower for three days and you're just playing video games. There you go. The, Priorities, you know, you're that, there to play games. That doesn't happen anymore that much. Oh, MBK gets tagged here at the 1 AWP, but again, you know, Tyloo are now playing into a double up setup that they don't yet know exists. That could definitely be an, an issue for them. Yeah, MBK is a capable opper. Definitely not Kenny tier, but he can hit his shots. And so having him yeah. hold over here, this basically, this this is a throwback sort of setup on Dust 2 when you have that double op where you have one on B site holding towards upper dark and then the other in position to hold off catwalk. So it's doubly difficult here for Tyloo to find a way in and they have to be so careful dodging. I mean, they have to make excellent use of their utility. That's what it's going to boil down to here because if they give a pick, it's so hard to come back from that. So, I mean, they really don't have that many nades left to work with either, Tyloo, in this buy. This is a force from them as well. Captain Moe has got time to work and try and get that op into play, but he isn't really getting a chance. Envious are just not showing anything. No, they're, they're quite comfortable with this situation, and they've saved an incredible amount of grenades, actually. We're down to 50 seconds soon, and they still have three smokes, two molotovs. Finally, one more coming out. Kenny is playing that uh, cross position down at long. This is where Captain Mo couldn't really make his sniper work, but Kenny, I think, definitely will. He's so strong in this position. Actually, now they're going to go aggressive. Flashbang goes in. Kenny wants to peek for it, but on the other side, waiting. Oh, still going to win the fight. That's one hell of a shot. Kenny loves this position. This is one of his favorite positions, hands down. Getting on the site, close quarters work with the AWP. He loves chaos, and he gets another kill. Makes it back, looks for the follow-up, hits the shot. There's three, there's four, and the god gets shut down, but still, the damage is done. 1v3 now, 14 seconds left, and well, it's the mad dash coming in here from somebody, and he's going to be able to make the run for it. Even takes the time to style a little bit. He's cutting it close, but he will just have time to make it onto the site and go for the plant right in the nick of time. Yeah, but surely not. He's in a 1v3. He's going to put up the Molotov here, but they're right around the corner. Tries for the shot through the doorway. Not quite going to happen, and he gets taken out. NBK with a kill there. It's a nice attempt, and it's a nice enough bomb plan. I mean, at least they get that out of it. Nonetheless, it's going to be 14 to 9 here. Envy two rounds away from knocking Tyloo out of the qualifier. That's refreshing. Yeah. This is just a joy to watch. Kenny just doing his work. This is art. Yeah, just really, really well done. Sort of Kenny that we wish we could see every single day. And he certainly has been doing a lot more of it recently. Sort of a return. JW, we talked about this earlier uh, today, how on God sent he has been sort of getting back to an, to old form. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. The, I mean, especially because the huge break that's happening between this qualifier and the major tournament means all the stuff that you're seeing now, it's going to be very hard to predict what the individual and team form is going to be coming into that, to that major. Yeah, there's a month break yeah. longer, it's including holidays in there as well, so... Yeah, so, I mean, if, if you spend a lot of time and really get ready and prepared, you could be quite a lot better than you were at this qualifier, and teams might not even know it, you know, and they, they might be a surprise. So, yeah, this whole major is just building up to be being possibly one of the best ever. Somebody with a bit of a flick coming through, but he doesn't quite connect. So, um, 24 rounds in, and Envy have finally made it work again here on the CT side. Tyloo have bought. Scout, Galil, four, eight, four UMPs, what do you think, Samla? I mean, I think that you're basically just 
you have to go for everything at this point if you're Tyloo. That's why the timeout comes through is their last timeout. This is their last chance. If they let Envious get up onto match point, not impossible for Tyloo to come back into it. MBK holding mid, going to take the shot. Some misinformation there. Just because that might lead Tyloo to think that Kenny is in mid. Somebody on the other side has the scout. And Apex is hiding close in the corner just in case they try and rush him down. Smoke that normally indicates a catwalk push is coming in. But in fact, they're all wrapping back around in Apex. Is he going to challenge it? If he looks past this and realizes there's only one person on catwalk, that's so much information for enemy to work off of. The rest are all lingering outside of the longhouse and Happy's around the corner. Spray comes through with the AK, picks up two, doesn't realize there's a guy behind him. Didi finally going to pick it up, but it's too late. Kenny going to get the one kill there. And now two on three with 38 seconds left there. Captain Mo has to go back and pick up the bomb. Somebody walking out with a grenade in hand. Apex somehow doesn't get the timing. It would have been awful. There's the flash coming in, and now somebody gets the body shot in, goes for it again, he misses it. Apex is still alive somehow. Can they finally take him down and make it a 2-1-2? Two -two? It doesn't seem like it. They're going to go for the bomb plant instead with 18 seconds. There's somebody going down. Now is your chance, Captain Mo. One on three, but the Molotov is seen. He's going to get the kill standing in the fire, and he can't get any more than that. That's 15 rounds for Envy. And a really, really good comeback here for the French team. It looked like they were shaking a bit here in the second half, and now it's working. Yeah, we're seeing that experience start to tell here. Or Tyloo, I mean, this is just unfortunate. It's perfectly done by Happy to spray into that, but for him to get the first headshot, like two headshots basically, two spray kills, because he's full white, full blind. If he's off by a foot to the left or the right, that's it, he's dead, and Tyloo, the plan works. They managed to push up onto the A site. But yeah. then to be able to keep their cool and get the retake going, Envious showing some class here, 15 to nine. So, so the, it's the fact that, you know, Apex survives after the scout shot there, he gets away. There's so many little details that could have made it different. But the fact is, Envy have just been playing a good game and that first half was stunning for them. So, Tyloo, all the time, they would have really had to fight uphill to make this work. Now, they got their backs against the wall. They need to win six rounds in a row here to get into overtime. And at least they have some AKs to work with this time. Looks like it's going to be a B push. And again, NBK is back here. And they have some Molotov, so maybe they could do it. But already, they're going to be losing fancy. NBK certainly ready for more. Some grenades are going to be in here. And you can see them swapping out the guns. They're just going to give up. They like, don't want to have any of that. It's like, whatever. Whatever, NBK. I mean, just to remind you all, this is match point. And this means if Envious win this, they keep their hopes alive to go to the Major. Tyloo could be on a plane back home empty-handed here. If they can't find a way to crack this defense. Down a man and around with their tournament hopes riding on it. And it looks like they want to try and wrap back around. Bomb is outside of Long. He is walking though somebody, so Happy doesn't have any information to go off of. He's currently camped out in Long House. But Apex is in position to spot to mid and those smokes going down, that gives him some room to work with here. Pressure must be unbelievable for Tyloo right now. Everything rides on this, and there's Happy sneaking into the middle, taking down Didi. Now Kenny falling back from the flashbang. He picks up the kill on attacker. Now two versus five. Somebody goes down, and that's a final kill for Kenny. 16-9, and Tyloo are eliminated from the major qualifier. Envy, they're going to continue to march on here. They played a very strong map on Dust2. That first half was amazing. 